What's up, guys? It is Jack and Adam from AchievementHunter.com back in Star Wars The Old Republic. We are doing Flashpoint Hammer Station. This is the second Flashpoint, right, Adam? Yep. Look at your sweet-ass mask. Thank you. <laughs> Not That's because I am, uh, I am, I'm again too high level for this instance. Yeah, you're way but, too high uh, level. I'm actually, hey, I'm, I play with you in this one. Yeah. I'm, I'm the, uh, the the chick in the, uh, the awesome helmet and duster jacket behind you. You can see my legs, my <laughs> sexy like a chick legs. firefighter. Wait, no, that's Mako. That's my companion. I don't know. <laughs> you're hiding behind Darth. I am. I'm no, hiding. Just... Okay. So, uh, yeah, so this is the second one, the second Flashpoint, you're gonna get in the game. This one is level about what 17 and above? Uh, 16 to 20 ish. Okay, so this one's a little bit tougher. Uh, there's a lot more robots in this one than, yes. than in Black Talon, which I like killing robots. And I'm also a <laughs> salvager, so it's fun to uh, go after. Well, that them. works out for you, it does. So, uh, yeah, so all you gotta do is first kill these guys. The um, so right here, this is sort of the first like branch point. You want to explain what the hell is happening here? All right, so in this mission, there are certain points that if you have the right gathering skill you're able to do special things like here i have a high level bioanalysis so i was able to get that basically gas masks on us so we can run through this part if you don't have a high level bioanalysis person this kills you you can't go up here that's just not an option for yeah, you we learned that the hard way the first time yes <laughs> i uh, i actually you were, got, you were fine <laughs> i got my whole party killed i put it on myself and then walked in and was like what's wrong guys why are you dying and uh see here at the very end there's a little bit of a prize it's normally a green item some yeah. kind of uh you know, upgrade. And then here, here's the second one. This one I could help with because uh, they have this drill, and it's like if you have salvaging, I think of eighty or higher. What is it? It's something like that. Uh, I think it's seventy-five. I've got it on the map. You saw earlier. Okay. Yeah. So, so I rewind and go see that. And so that drill goes, and then like it's a huge shortcut. You can also skip this and just fight through some more trash mobs. But uh, yeah, why or do you that? Can go through. Yeah, why do that? We can just skip right to the boss. So this is the DN three one four tunneler, and uh, that guy. He looks. He looks like a like a paint bucket for a head with. Yep, pin arms. Giant freaking laser beam. No. But anyway, so this one, all you got to do is uh, you know focus on the uh, the main dude. But you've got these little smaller guys running around, and you can definitely murder them. You can actually see me running around in the background trying to take care of those guys while the uh, big boys take out the uh, the the large tunneler. Now keep in mind, you can see the little robots there. They're actually shocking everything around them. Yeah. So you do need to kind of stay away from them. Yeah. He also has a giant laser beam that mm -hmm. will suck. You can interrupt it, but your healer will be needing to heal. What are, what are those things called, like, that architects use to make, like, perfect, like, curves and stuff? The not Is it a protractor? Yeah, Whatever, I think so. Where you put the pin, you put the pencil on one side, then you make a circle with it? Yeah, I think it's a That's protractor. what his legs are made out of. Woo! <laughs> Just putting that out. They're not really made of that. Yeah. I brought you in here because you know what the hell you're talking about when Woo. it comes to actually <laughs> raiding and stuff like that. I'm just kind of here. Like, I pretty much just wait until someone tells me what to shoot at. <laughs> and then I just murder. I just, you know, put on my murder gun and go crazy. So this is uh, Vorgan the Volcano, who is the, uh, the second major boss in this uh, area here. And he's got two companions with him, two little buddies. And it's the same sort of deal where you want to make sure to go after the, uh, the friends. Yep. Guy, he knocked you the hell down. Yeah, man. he's got like some corner. He, he's, you know how the bounty hunter gets rocket punch? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. he gets like the real rocket punch where he like <laughs> flies across the map and punches you in the face. He does like the M. Bison thing where he, he, he does. Fly yeah, across the yeah. Room. He All sucks. Right. <laughs> so take out his companions first and then go after him and uh, pick up some. I, I think I got an awesome jacket, a good bounty hunter jacket there. Yep. So here's your first alignment choice for this mission. You get to choose whether or not to overload the electrical systems here, which you can see the droid is now killing everyone. Um, it doesn't really have any effect on the mission. However, it does give you some light side or dark side points. Yeah, and it's like I think it's 100 either way. So. I believe so. Nice, my sweet little uh, points here. So you can hear, this is the this is the light bridge, and you actually, the first time I ran across this, I actually fell, because you can see it's red yeah. right now, which means it's about to disappear, and you'll see in a second, there's a giant meteorite Whoa. flying towards a planet. Yeah, you caught that with your face the first time. Yeah, right. it sucked. As you know, red means go, right? That, well, <laughs> see, that's, you know, I, that's mean, whatever. Well, did you, the companion just walk off the edge there? No, he, uh... I don't know what's going on. I don't on. know. He's just... <laughs> Ken Ball is... He's, he's not the smartest. He just runs around yeah, and kills Yeah, look at him standing there watching you. He's, he's like, like, what Ooh. am I doing? So this is the uh, the final boss. This is Battle Lord Creshan, however you say his name. Yep. And he's going to spawn a whole bunch of add-ons, too. And it's kind of keep your eye on that. Whoa, look at that. You put that in there just to make yourself look badass, I, I, right? I did. I, I will be honest. <laughs> well, I, I felt pretty awesome doing it. I mean, I was like... I wanted to see if I could knock him off the cliff. And you yeah. can if you have Absolutely. AoE abilities. Uh, the downside is, as you saw, he has an AOE ability. He can knock you off, yeah. and then there's no way to respawn you until the fight is over. Absolutely. So uh, do watch out for that. Try to stay away from the edges. It works when you're knocking them off, but in 
that scenario, you can also get knocked off. Nice. And that's right there. You saw we just triggered the explosives to uh, blow up the hammer station. Yes. And then you come back, talk to your original dude, and get some uh, awesome experience. I think it's like 10,000 experience for beating the I believe thing. so. And uh, you can also, there's some good gear in there. There's some, there's some pants, so you can always say you're wearing your hammer pants. Yeah. And then you can dance around, slash dance, <laughs> after wearing your hammer pants. <laughs> and I think I've got my hammer jacket. It looks awesome. All right, well, we got more of these coming up soon. Check back later.